It was good, guys. How you feeling? We good. Oh, how, are you? Brother, how are you? Good, good. Um, so Troy, this one's for you because you always mention it, um having events. Um, so in relation to, like Bitcoin and crypto, I looked into it and um the last one was like May of last year, like yep, May yep. uh 10th or 11th or something mm-hmm. like that. Mm-hmm. And is the next one's like in 2024. Yeah. Um, so usually I from what I looked at after the year after in which it um has the event like crypto and like the coin itself, it kind of skyrockets. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm wondering like after this following year, what's to happen with cryptocurrency, seeing this boom with the multiple coins and such like that. So do we expect crypto to have the same boom in 2022 or are we looking at like a bearish, like downward trend? I, I think it, I think it goes, that, that's a great question. And it's funny, we brought, we brought it up like two weeks ago. I remember it was probably this time last year when we had, we were talking about the having event and mm-hmm. what it means. And I remember our DMs blowing up like, oh, you guys know what you're talking about. And like, all right, well, let's just get it on. <laughs> and um, I think Ian just laid it out perfectly. Follow the trend, right? If we've seen right. having event every year after the having event, we've seen Bitcoin skyrocket. The trend is telling me, yeah, that's probably going to happen, right? Because you're going to get less for each coin, which means the, the value of the coin is going up. We, we made no secret about where we think Bitcoin is going to go. I think, we, what'd you say, 100,000, 150,000? We, 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 eventually in about in three to five years 200 yeah yeah we make no secret about that so i i, I say yes um but it's good that we're thinking like that because prior yeah. to maybe this year or last year people had no idea what a having event was so i'm, I'm happy that you you're in that space and understanding what, what's going on yeah that and white paper. homework right there <laughs> yeah great homework. Yeah, white paper great question next thing i'm looking into yeah yeah no, I appreciate All right, it. Thank you, fellas. And, and, and to follow up really quick, I would have you look at every commodity. And based on the question, the only reason I'm giving you this homework because I can tell how serious you are about investing. Go look at every major commodity over the last 20 years. See how often they have triple or double bloom years back to back. I know crypto is, is an, an exception for most people. All asset classes are the same. There is a history to everything. Water right. patterns, coin production in Russia like if you can chart it out you'll be able to see um I'm not going to say here and give a high take that it's going to fall off a cliff but if the world gets back to normal and people get back to work and by 2023 but 2023 is going to be a shit show I'm going to be honest with you you guys have to look at the game inside the game to see why they're trying to hold everything up to 2023 if you know the answer put it in chat but this year, uh, next year may be a little bit different than this. All right. For sure. But great question. I appreciate, appreciate you guys. Like was. Yeah, shout out to Irving. Uh, let's go to Randy. Randy, we coming to you. Unmute yourself. You've been unmuted. What's going on? Damn, Randy. Don't do this. Refrigerator break? Oh, baby. Oh, no fridge break, Randy. Come on. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Ash, we're going to come to you. Ash Brinson, we come to you. Unmute yourself. You've been unmuted. Ash, what's going on? Oh, Ash, right away. That's what I'm talking about. Can you Ash, you all can hear me? Yes. Yeah, how are yeah, you? Perfect. How are you guys doing? Great. Thank you for everything you guys do. As always, you don't know how much it means to all of us. So for my question today, it's kind of going back to... um. I'm going to ask you guys a couple months ago. I remember Rashad, you talked about getting into um, that you could have got into Google the day at IPO. Do you remember? Yeah, I and remember. Troy, that. you talked about Apple, I'm... you could have got in early. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, so my question is this is tying into Ethereum because you guys haven't got into it. So I bought it, I was able to buy 19 Ethereum at the end of 2019 for only about when it was costing about 189 for a coin mm. and i sold out when it dropped to 154 because this is when i first started investing and i got uh yeah i got you yeah that's my question how do you how did you rashad and you troy and even you ian when you got into an early position and sold out and then you see it years later skyrocket how do you uh deal with that and re i don't know rehype yourself up yeah well that google situation for me i never got it i was i wish i would have gotten i was just saying that i was watching it the day the day it ipo and uh, I was in prep school at the time, but I was still into stock. So, I mean, I didn't really even have enough money to invest, but I knew that it would probably be a good investment. And obviously, you know, the rest is history. Um, 
But I mean, you know, you can't beat yourself up out. You can't beat yourself up. You just learn, right? I mean, in life, you make a lot of mistakes. Um, and that obviously was a learning lesson. Uh, but what can you do about it, right? I mean, it's over now and it's been a couple of years. So you know now that whenever you have something, you know, it's better to buy and hold. This is why we always talk about buy and hold. Um, it's it's something that is extremely underrated because everybody wants to make money very quickly. And then you see stocks not moving like crypto didn't move for almost four years from 2018 to just last year. Um, so three years, crypto didn't really move at all. So you could have been holding these coins for three years. That's a long period of time. Like most, yep. most people don't have that patience to wait three years for something to skyrocket. So everybody wants to jump on a bandwagon and everybody's an expert when things are going good. But when things are going bad, even like stocks, now we hit like a snag and now nobody wants to talk about stocks. Everybody wants to talk about crypto. Nobody, mm -hmm. stocks are dead. I heard somebody say like crypto's going to replace stocks. So pe people are very, <laughs> people are, people are very finicky, but you know, Long story short, you learn from it, you um, you move on in life, but the key is not to make the stake mistake again. Yeah. So the next time you have that opportunity, um, you hold and you know you never know, you yeah. never know. I would just add to that, um, and if Ethereum is something you believe in, find a new entry point. Mm -hmm. new entry point. Like I said, we didn't even know what fractional shares were until we started buying Ethereum, a Bitcoin, um, because you could, got, you could get pieces of a coin. And so just find a new entry point. Don't beat yourself about it. Don't go and say, look, I got to find the next coin that's one cent. So I can, you know what I mean? <laughs> Try to have yeah, that yeah, run yeah, up yeah, because yeah. then, then you'll just, there's, there's like 4,000 coins. You'll be chasing a bunch. Um, so just, if you believe in it, find a new entry point. Thank you guys. Thank you. And then to follow up, um, first thing you can do is cry. <laughs> so after you get that out the way, because let's be honest, we've all had good investments that we let go of. Then two. Favorite number that you, if you like something in investing, has to be this Diamond Dallas page 10. Got to hold it for 10. And even when everybody tells you that you're crazy and that it won't work, you have to still be willing to hold it for a 10 year period. For all of you that are, how, how old are you, by the way? Regardless of how old you are, go look at the. Oh, chart. sorry. He had me. Sorry. Sorry to interrupt. He had me reading. Mm -hmm. I'm uh, turning 20 this Friday. Oh, my God. Happy 20, birthday to two, you. zero. Oh yes, my sir. God. Please l listen to me. I'm talking to 20 year old me. Get <laughs> off of here. Go look at the Dow chart from the recession of 1929 through now. Cause then roaring twenties happened, which led to the great depression. And then there was boom and bust cycles in between. Go look at any 10 year horizon for any quality for any index or any mutual fund or anything of that sort. If you hold for a 10 year period, you're going to hit a home run. And if crypto continues to run, it won't run at the same pace that it's doing now. But when you look at futures, crypto runs at pretty much the same speed as the NASDAQ future. So if it runs at the same pace for 10 years, Ethereum may hit, I mean, it's crazy to say, but Ethereum could hit 30,000 in six years. I don't want to sound, sound like James Altucher in 2000 now would doubt 30,000, but everything that you're holding that you believe in hold for a 10 year period, and lastly, don't feel bad. We've all made the same mistakes you have. Had a great right, thank company. Thank all of you guys. Yeah, sold it too early and got out of it. Find a new entry, hold it, and don't listen to anybody else. But go look at that Dow chart from the recession of 29 on through. If you think crypto is going to have the same, because the same thing happens in different asset classes. Like Bitcoin is kind of like Dow. Um, and you can probably argue Ripple is, is like the Russell. Go study the indexes and the history of them to understand what, Bitcoin and crypto is going to do. My graduates from my school being Forbes. Backdrop. Backdrop. <laughs> a mic drop. Backdrop. Backdrop. <laughs>